How's it going YouTube? Mevin Ka here. It's a brand new day, which means it's a brand new Let's Play. And I'm playing The Binding of Isaac because I love this game. And uh, I'm going to just continue my character rotation. I'm going to play as the Blue Baby. Now the Blue Baby is interesting. I have no red hearts, only blue hearts. I can never pick up red hearts. I can never get red hearts. My entire life depends on me finding blue hearts, which appear at a more, excuse me, appear at a higher probability for the blue baby, but not that much higher. Uh, I start with the poop, which is as useless as you think it is. Uh, that's me pooping. I get to poop every room uh, because, hey man, it's important to be regular. Uh, first item, sacrificial dagger. Uh, this is going to be a no-nonsense run. I'm just going to try and win the game as another terrible character that I do prefer a slightly more to others. I got me a penny. Uh, props to... I forgot I forgot his username, but props to the guy who figured out that I was telling a pun with the poop joke, like in the first episode. I don't even remember what it was about necessarily. It was about poops and scents, like smells. Oh, I took damage there. That's bad. So, white hearts, usually not good to pick them up right away. Blue baby is totally fine because if I run out of blue hearts, I'll actually die even if I have red, uh, even if I have the white eternal heart present. Uh, and so it's just, uh, you know, when I go to the next floor, I'll have a new heart. But uh, there's no way that I can, there's no way I can lose this white heart as the blue baby. Sorry if I sound kind of gross and congested. Uh, I bet that sounded gross too. Uh, my allergies are kind of kicking in pretty hard today, so that sucks. Uh, we should probably poop, huh? Uh, I hate this version of the Widow. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but I absolutely despise this guy. He just jumps around so much, and oh, I took damage from that stupid dub. Uh, just die already, please. Oh, 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 god, why? Why? Why this guy? I might die right here just because I'm so... The Blue Baby, I can't replenish any of this health. I have one heart left. This is terrible. I have no bombs. Nothing I can do can expedite this process. Oh, I died! And there was a white heart there. I could have totally picked it up and gotten a new heart. Well, there's no way that I can cut it off so quickly, but man, I actually just got rocked. I just woke up, by the way, so I'll use that as an excuse for why I performed so poorly in that fight. Uh, but let's not think about that. I don't want to think about what just happened, and uh, I'm going to pretend that it never did. So here we go. Hit the reboot button. What's up, YouTube? Mevin Kai here with another Let's Play run of The Binding of Isaac. My name is Mevin Ka. I'm your host of the Mevin Ka Let's Plays of Mevin Kaness. First item. Again. Infestation. Infestation means that whenever I get hit with anything, uh, I spawn blue attack flies. It's okay. Uh, I don't really think it's that great because in general I try to not get hit, so it limits the usefulness. Um, but it does have utility, so if I do get hit, Blue flies will totally kill whatever it is that just hit me. Uh, and that's always nice because it helps prevent future damage. Uh, I don't know why those guys always glitch out. So I get a poop once, and then I'll poop again. Uh, I have more keys this time around though, which is nice. I'm going to clear the whole first floor because why the hell not, man. Uh, it's one of those spike rooms. <gasps> Excuse me. I don't care much for those kinds of rooms. They generally suck really bad. Alright, we're going to fight the Widow again. And this time it's the normal Widow, so that's much better. Because he doesn't jump like a crazy person. Oh, oh. I don't know why, but I think the reason why I hate the Widow so much and I do so poorly against the Widow. Oh, shit, spider. Is because my habit is just like, I'm so tired of like taking time to fight bosses that I just don't want to take any time at all. So I'd rather just stand there and shoot at him, which is really hard slash bad to do against the Widow because he will end you. Oh, man, I wanted to kill that thing before it spawned another spider. Because I hate item spawn, or well, enemy spawning enemies in this game suck. Alright, let's poop again. Uh, let's grab our tears up upgrade and get a free item rule on the next go around. Let's drop down to the next floor. Alright, blue baby, you do that. I'm just going to go straight to the item room. Uh, and I get the game kit, which is fantastic. It's a great replacement for the poop. Uh... The game kit is similar to the unicorn horn, so when I use it, I turn invincible. I get like a Pac-Man looking mouth. And when I eat stuff, I gain health. Uh, I'm invincible right now, by the way. Uh, the only problem is that for the blue baby, since I can't gain any red hearts, I actually don't gain any health when I use it. 
Which is kind of too bad because it makes the item really useful if you can, like, heal up from using it. Uh, sadly, I will never be able to have that utility with this particular item, but it still beats the hell out of just pooping on the ground every once in a while. Don't you think? Oh, dude, that was that was dangerously close to danger. Okay. Uh, one of the weird things about the blue baby is that you, you value health upgrades a lot less because getting an itemized health upgrade is the same exact thing as just picking up a blue heart on the ground. So I'd much rather have like the nail or the relic or something that gives me more and more blue hearts constantly. Envy, I kind of wish I had saved my uh, my game kid uh, because. I used it rather impulsively just to demonstrate what it did, uh, but that's okay. I can probably kill Envy. It'll just take me a little bit longer. Uh, hopefully, I can do this without taking any damage. Uh, so, my strategy against Envy is to try my best to just blow up one and a half at a time. It doesn't always work out though, because as you will see, they start to move pretty goddamn fast. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I have to pay attention here. I'm focusing so hard right now, and it's... Well, it's not that... Oh, damn it! That is a load of crap, if you ask me. I totally could have done that without taking any damage, and instead now I've blown up multiple dudes. This is gonna get dangerous! Oh, God. Why is it that... I'm telling you, man. Someone needs to do, like, the math or the trig of these angles that these guys are bouncing at, because whatever it is they're doing, it's really useful. Like, it's really strong. Like, you're just always... They're just always in your face, like that! What is that crap? Come on. I lost half my health in this fucking room, which is really obnoxious. I got the shoop de whoop which I don't actually want. I'd rather have the game kid. The shoop de whoop I'll show you. shoop de whoop It's like that uh, YouTube video, shoop de whoop There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't like it that much. It's not that useful to me. I'd rather have the game kid. Let's continue onwards with half my health. Uh, I did pick up the lucky toe trinket, though. The lucky toe just makes... Uh, more likely that any consumable drops at the end of clearing a, clearing a room. So that is actually quite useful. I'm looking forward to getting some blue hearts because of it. Uh, oh, we're just backtracking. I know that this place has nothing for me because this is where I started and I teleported over to the item room. Uh, oh, 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 oh god. Am I gonna die again? This is why I hate the blue baby, by the way, because I tend to take a lot of damage just because I'm kind of reckless when I play. Um, which is a bad thing, I know, but it just means that I die really fucking fast. I might have to get some money and then use, uh, use, use a key to go to the shop just to buy health, because this is not sustainable in the long term. I don't know who my boss is going to be, but it's possible that I'll die a second time. And if I do die a second time, I don't even know if I'll publish this video. I have no bombs! That is distressing, to say the least. Well, I think I'm going to take my fully charged game kid and just eat the boss, and then... Oh good, he's going to run into me, and I'm just going to eat him, and pick up a health upgrade, which is, once again, not that useful, because it's just like a blue heart. Uh, and I also don't have enough spirit hearts to trade anything, so I don't know why I went in here. Maybe because I was hoping Krampus would be here, but if Krampus was here, I totally would have died. Uh, Okay, I guess I'm just dropping down the next floor. So far, uh, I have been doing very poorly. Uh, that tinted rock is going to help, though. I just need bombs. That's really what I need, uh, just in general. Oh, uh, tinted rock just gave me a key. Didn't even give me any health. Which I think is a load of bullshit. I'm going to use one of my many keys to open this room up. It's the blue candle. I would much rather have that than the game kid, but I need to get the money first. Uh, so let's, let's sort of wait and see how this floor plans out. Okay, this room sucks. Uh, it's really hard for me to... Oh god. Dodging these guys can hurt, and um, that big one does a whole heart of damage, not just a half heart. So I gotta be fucking careful against these dudes. Okay, that's good. Uh, I don't quite have the range to shoot across the entire room, but as long as I keep my distance, dodging this fat guy's uh, bullets should not be that difficult. Oh, almost... Okay, go down. Okay. Whew! Alright, Wheel of Fortune. Kind of useless. One of the nice things about the Blue Baby is that I always get mob trap rooms. They're always open because I never have any red hearts for it to, like, test against. You know what I'm saying? So, like, normally I have to have all my red hearts present to go into this room. And then in the boss mob trap room, I have to have only one of my red hearts present. But I have no red hearts, so I'm always al allowed to go to 
the, these mob trap rooms. I kind of want these things to die. Oh god, there's so many of you. Why do I not do any damage to you fools? Oh god! Oh my god. Oh, I did take damage. That was- oh, this is stupid. I have two help. I have two hearts now. I took two hits of damage, which means that this room turned out to be neutral, because I picked up a, red, a blue heart, or I picked up a health upgrade, which gave me an extra blue heart, and then I lost it. And now it's health detrimental to me to be here. Wow, I kind of want to just start over again, to be honest. Like, I don't even care if I die now, because this is fucking ridiculous. I just feel like this is not going well at all. I'm about to die again. Uh, I'm just playing like garbage. Oh, man. Binding of Isaac may not be the best way to start your day. Uh, probably use like a cup of coffee or something, but whatever. Just gonna do my best. Red patch, don't want it over the lucky toe. Um, this room again. Okay, I have to be careful now because there's... Oh, I walked into them. Well, I guess it's been so short that I will actually try a third time. Uh, and I got the sack of pennies, which is useless. Um, it's like alright in the early game, but once you get into the late game, all that money just loses its value. Uh, I cannot believe I've died two times already in the span of like probably 15 minutes. But, once again, these characters I hate, and I promised you, the viewers, that I would play as all the characters, so... I would be amiss. I would be remiss if I went back on that promise. Oh, look, a penny. Thank you. Now I'm gonna pop all this poop, which is gonna be boring to watch, but hey, you can just pretend that... I don't even know, man. But I want money, so I'm just gonna do it. And I'm gonna poop a poop of my own. Oh, I got a blue heart out of that. That's cool. That's like getting a whole health upgrade. Now you kind of see why, like, health upgrades are kind of both good and useless in, uh, on the blue baby, just because, like, man. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, can I blow him up right here? Ah, oh, not quite. I wanted to see if the secret room was there, um, but I didn't blow him up close enough for it to matter. Plus, I think in my three runs total, I have had zero bombs, like, over the course of three different runs, I have picked up zero bombs. That is kind of absurd to me. Like, not even one bomb. Like, one bomb. That's alright, though. Let's fight the Widow again. Oh, this Widow? Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna try and play this a little bit smarter than last time. Since last time, I just, just like, wasn't even thinking straight. Like, I didn't have my thinking Kevin face on, or whatever that is. Oh, let's try not to die! Oh, I got hit. That was stupid. See, but I don't feel as bad as losing this heart because I didn't get, like, I didn't get it from, like, a whole, like, full health upgrade. Like, I just got it from picking up a random blue heart. Alright, just die already, please. These nubs really make it worse for me, man. Okay, good. He's dead. I did not die on, against him this time, which is... Let's just put it this way, a way bigger improvement. I got Jesus Juice, actually a pretty good item. It gives me a range upgrade and I cry a little bit faster. Is there a damage component to this too? I don't think so, but... Well, this item is useless, it just teleports me, but it's more useful than the poop, so I will take it. Uh, let's teleport. Uh, okay. Uh, let's open this, actually. Uh, that was worth it, definitely. I got two bombs and my key back. Uh, so let's clear this room. Oh, I stood too close to him. Oh my god. I'm just so bad right now. Maybe I shouldn't play this game in the mornings. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm the worst. I lost, like, two... I lost more health in this room than I did on a boss fight. I'm just, like, we're not thinking. I don't even want to post this garbage play on the internets. Uh, man, look at all this stuff I could have if I just used all my bombs. Okay, fuck it. There's a blue heart... Uh, there's a tinted rock here, so I'm totally blowing that up. Oh, I got the small rock. Things turned around a lot. And I got these, uh, this golden key. 
Things just turned around quite a bit, so I got more health. I'm gonna teleport. Um, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my bombs and blow up these golden chests. Because I have a gold key, which means I don't use my keys by opening up things anymore. Flat penny. Uh, I'd say that's worth it, because flat penny makes my chance of getting more pennies even bigger. And I like bigger chances, um, a lot. So let's open this up. Let's hope that I get some money then. I got keys just anyway, so let's open this up. A seven cent compass, that's fantastic. Let's pick that up. Uh, I need like five cents so I can get that health upgrade because I really fucking need it. Um, so I think the secret room might be here, so I'm gonna blow this up. Nope, it's not. I'm gonna try here now. Nope, it's not. That is uh, one of the most disappointing things that has ever happened. I'm not quite sure where it means, uh, where that means the secret room actually is, though. Uh oh, so I'm a little scared. Uh, okay, now I'm fighting Steven, which is not a bad boss fight. Uh, he should be pretty easy, and I don't think he runs fast enough to really uh, make things shitty for me. Oh, that's right, I got a range upgrade, so... Oh, man, I do, I do pretty good damage. The small rock, by the way, is a speed downgrade and a damage upgrade, which makes it really nice. <laughs> oh! I knew I was going to take damage from the explosion, and I knew, uh, well, I didn't know I was going to take damage there, but I'm sad nonetheless. All right, I got little Steven. He shoots homing tears. Uh, I have four keys now, not enough money to do anything, uh, like buy the, uh, I can't buy the, the, uh, oh god, I can't get cornered here. Corners are bad. That's right, you die. Green dudes die. Uh, what was I gonna say? I have the compass, so now I can kind of like tell where the stuff is. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna teleport again. Uh, that was interesting. Let's go here and open this up and get a bomb and a key. Uh, you know, as long as I don't take any damage here, which I shouldn't if I'm not the worst, it should be all right. The next wave, I think, is like just oh, it's these. Uh, Ooze guys, these uh, gross things that respawn and make my life difficult. I wish I had red hearts and charm of the vampire because you can stack uh, heals with the charm of the vampire against these guys. These head things, kind of obnoxious, but it's alright when I have a whole room to walk around in. Like I said, a lot of the dodging in this game can be accomplished just by moving around in circles or just not being in the place that you were. Um, because. Staying in one place oftentimes allows enemies to like hit you because they're always aiming at where you are. So if you just move out of the way and like go in a circle, you usually do. I actually want this. I want the Polaroid way way more because. So the blue baby because I've I get permanent well not permanent I get that temporary invincibility um, from the Polaroid um, without having to lose any red hearts because I don't start with any at all. I'm just gonna use my guy's homing tears to kill this. Um, so getting the Polaroid means that, well, things that do a whole harder damage to me will still one-shot me, but, um, is that worth a key? I don't know. I, well, a bomb and a key? I don't know yet. Um, I can re-teleport, though, which is useful. Um, oh, good. So there's a gold chest, uh, a gold, a gold poop, rather. Um, and gold poops are good because when you pop them, <laughs> gold poops are good when you pop them, uh, they give you a shit ton of money, which is always really useful. Um, so let's do it. Okay, now I'm not going to pick all this money up yet, though, because what I want to do is I want to grab my my, uh, my 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 trinket that is not the Polaroid, the flat penny, pick up all the money, get a shit ton of keys with any luck. Uh, then I will go back and pick up the Polaroid and resume uh, resume my, my combat. So here we go. Let's hope for, like, ten keys. One, two, three, four... Nope, three keys. That is fantastic. And I now have enough money to go places, so let's blow this up, because now I think it's worth it with seven keys. And I got I got another bomb, which is... So I came out one key extra on that one. Boy, I really wish I could trade in all those red hearts for something. Um, let's go pick up the Polaroid. I want to use my teleport, but I'm scared it'll teleport me to the boss room, which does happen. Uh, and if it does do that, I might die, because I only have one health. So what I want to do is go to the shop first. Hopefully it's not greed. If it is, I'll teleport out of there. Um, oh, this room is gonna be somewhat obnoxious. Oh, good. I took my I took damage, and now I have my invincibility shield. Um, let's hope for 
Uh, Book of Revelations. That is a not bad item. Do I want to use this last teleport? Not really. I will hang on to the book. Oh my god, please, just pick it up. I will hang on to the book. Um, if I get more money, I definitely want to come back and buy all this other good stuff. But I'll hold on to the book, because the book gives me a blue heart every time I use it, which is really useful for me. I do not want the tick. Do not want tick. Uh, I'll explain why. But the, uh, the, the only difference is that it makes, uh, one of the four horsemen appear on every, uh, on every, like, blank one floor. So if that doesn't make any goddamn sense, so right now I'm on the Catacombs 1, and then after this I'll go to the Catacombs 2, uh, and every, every, like, Caves 1, Catacombs 1 floor, if I use the Book of Revelations on that floor, I will get, um, one of the four horsemen as a boss. Um, it's really good if you want to stack cubes of meat, um, because if you stack enough cubes of meat, you get, like, a, a fucking meat boy, which is awesome. Um, And getting a Meat Boy definitely is a useful item to have. Um, is my secret room in here? You know what? I might as well try. Yes, it is. Let's see if I can get some, like... Oh, I got some good money there. I got 11 cents right there. I'm probably just going to blow it all on health upgrades. And by health upgrades, I mean the one blue heart that's in there. Um, maybe I'll buy the tarot card. Although, usually I find that store-bought tarot cards tend to suck. I'm actually going to buy the bomb. Because I only had I only had three of them, and I'm gonna want to use them for future secret room hunting and all that other good stuff. So I need I need it I need it. Let's go in here, because why the hell not? Maybe I'll get a consumable out of this. I'm really glad that I found. Most of the time when you get the Polaroid early, it like doesn't really mean anything. But I'm really glad that I got the Polaroid early this time, uh, because with the Blue Baby, it's really useful. I get invincibility when I take damage, and everyone loves invincibility. Um, let's see here, there's four bombs left, uh, let's just go fight the boss, I suppose. I'm definitely not, I don't need any more keys, so I'm definitely not doing that. Oh my god, the Headless Horseman? That's who I got? Uh, well, this is gonna suck. Um, thankfully, I, oh my god, I am not happy with that. Alright, thank goodness for invincibility, though. Oh my god. Why did I get hit again? Come on, just die. Just die. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I thought I saw invincibility. Wow, I'm not posting this video on the internet. I cannot believe that everything... Oh my god, everything is dead forever. Oh my god. Everything is dead forever. Oh my god. Everything is dead forever. I don't even want to talk. Everything is dead forever.